Hello everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for clicking on the video. So I was tagged by the lovely Lucy from Lucy Just Adds Colour to um, complete the second round of the Scavenger Hunt tag. Um, so this tag was originally started by um, Danny Buttons. Um, so I will link Lucy's video and Danny's video down below um, and um, I'll also link the first part to the tag of my video below as well and so we need to find a list of items in books and I've used coloured and uncoloured books I mean coloured and uncoloured pages in books um, for my items so before I forget I would like to tag um, Isabel's life um, to complete this tag and also um, anyone else who's not yet been tagged because I'm quite late to the party with this one um, so many people have been tagged already but if you haven't um, please please do the video because we love watching these sorts of videos so let's get started so the first book first image sorry that um, we need to find is a beverage so I chose this PDF page um, and it's from um, Etsy and it's um, drawn by Emily Illustrator um, so it's a lovely teapot and I think from this leaf you can see that there's some tea being poured into the cup so I thought this was perfect to show a beverage picture and I also like you know all like the leaves and everything in there and it's really nice picture so I've been meaning to colour this picture for a while but um, not done so yet but yeah that's that's my first picture um, so as I said it's the um, picture of a beverage so uh, to me that looks like tea or possibly even coffee um, okay so that's the first one the second one is to find a dog so um, I chose this one which is Blissful Scenes by Colour It and so I think I put my tags in and then it's um, this picture here just pan out so you can see a bit there so yeah this is the little dog here the little brown dog and actually it is a really nice scene and I could actually have used this for my palm tree one um, so I know lots of other people had issues with or problems with trying to find palm trees but um, that's not been the one that's um, you know caused me any issues I've, I've found lots of palm trees it's probably things like a hat that I can't find that I couldn't find you know it was difficult to find so anyway this one is for the dog so that's that one then the next one that I need to, to find was um, something that scares you or spooky so I um, got my Imagimorphia book by Kirby Rosans and it's this um, spider okay because I am very much scared of spiders um, very much scared of them so um, yeah that is definitely something that scares me but yeah this picture um, the web has got stickles on it and then there's the uh, nasty looking spider in the middle there so yeah that's that one for something that scares me the spiders are all out now at this time of the year as well um, which isn't a good thing for me the next one is to find a witch so this is a newly purchased book as well nice little town Halloween it's a lovely book um, and I hope to colour in this a lot and the picture I chose and the picture that I probably will colour first as well hopefully very soon um, is this one and there's um, the little witch there you can see the back of her uh, she's got a broomstick in her in her hand and then she's looking at this big spell book um, and yeah I really like it it's got lovely features that I really like to colour things like books I like to colour and then you know the cauldrons there and it just looks really nice so yeah I hope to colour this um, in the next few weeks so that's my witch so that's from Nice Little Town Halloween by Tatiana Bogima and then the next one was to find candy or sweets and so I think I've outdone myself with this one because I've actually found a whole book um, so this is a sweet shop colouring book 
uh, illustrated by Chris Price. Um, and so there's lots of sweets and chocolates in it, but the picture that I chose was this one, because this is probably going to be um, one of the first ones that I colour. And it's the love hearts, you know, with the really well known, the love hearts with all the little messages on there. So, I love you, I'm yours, cool dude, marry me, etc. So yeah, I can imagine just colouring all of these in different colours, um, making it really colourful. So this is a really nice book as well. Uh, just show you a few of the pages. Um, sorry, it's at an angle, but the book sort of opens from the top. It's binded at the top rather than at the side. So yeah, um, little old sweet shop scales and yeah, it looks really vintage, this book. So yeah, there we go. So that's the candy or the sweets one. And then a woodland critter. So um, Creative Haven Entangled is where I found, and I just completed this page yesterday. Um, and it's of this little hedgehog. And um, I really like how it's come out, actually. Um, I really wanted it to look autumn, autumny, or autumnal. Oh, you know, like, you know, reminiscent of the fall season, as you might say, in America. So, yeah, I used, you know, made my leaves sort of um, orangey green and yellows and etc. So, yeah, that's my little critter. Uh, you'll probably see this in my September completed pages because um, I completed it in September. So I used stickles and, yeah, stickles and glitter and gel pens and pencil and just, like, everything because that's what I usually use everything on a page and then the next one was palm trees so I chose this book Escapes by the Sea by Angela Porter and so the page that I chose is this one and you can see my palm trees are there at the top um, and yeah, there's a little mermaid there as well. Um, it was very much fun doing this. I can't remember when I did it, but it must have been last year or before that because I've only started writing dates since the start of this year. So yeah, these are palm trees. I think I used alcohol markers. Yeah, some alcohol markers there. Gel pen, glitter, Posca pens. So yeah, plenty of palm trees there that you can see. Okay, so that's by the sea by... Angela Porter for the palm trees and then next um, for number eight we have vegetables so then I chose a romantic country I think it's the first tale and then I found this uncolored page which is the vegetable patch this is another one that I would like to colour I, I look at it now and again and I think yeah I'd really like to colour it so I think these are cauliflowers could be cabbage um, and then carrots etc so yeah really nice sort of a you know homely sort of a scene a farm scene so those are my vegetables and it says vegetable garden there as well so I thought that was quite a good choice for that one for vegetables so yeah that's that one um, next one is a hat so I found this one quite difficult to find I couldn't really um, you know, I, di I don't think I have many books with hats in them. Um, but anyway, I, I found some hats in A Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo. Um, her series of books are my one of my favourites. So I've got these pair of sloths here, a little baby sloth and an adult one, and they're both wearing a blue hat. So yeah, I thought this one will, will do for me. So yeah. So that's my page with the hats. Okay, and then last, well, not last one, second to last one is a book. Sorry, books, books. Um, so I chose Colin Thompson's colouring book um, and this completed page. So I just pan out a bit there because it's quite a big book. So yeah, um, there's lots of books here on this bookshelf. So yeah, I thought this was a good choice for books because there's plenty of books um, about his his books are really nice. As in the images in his books, I would just 
love to colour more, there's another one I've done there, but I need to colour more in his books because I really like detailed images. So yeah, that's the books. And then finally the bonus um, thing to find is where you wish you were or could travel right now. And so I chose the book Rainforest Escape by Jane Gideon. And so I'm someone who really likes being beside the sea. So the place I would like to be in this fold out book here is this place here. I can just imagine sitting on this little swing here and facing the beautiful sort of beautiful sea um, with a green turquoise colour sea and then you know you've got your palm trees here as well so I said I had lots of palm trees um, so yeah just imagine being there that would just be serene so yeah that's where I would like to be um, right now if I could um, so yes so that's my video on um, the scavenger hunt part two thank you so much to um, Lucy for tagging me and thank you to Danny for creating the tag as well and like I said I would like to tag Isabel's life and anyone else who would wish to do um, a similar video so thanks so much for watching take care of yourselves bye